Morning. How you doing, Gene? Let's just get your heart rate up a little bit. Look forward to getting Gino back and playing at full strength. Hopefully we get him back sooner than later. He sat out enough for the year now. He had a, a little break from, from playing all the games he's played this year. So uh, hopefully we get him for a long stretch. Perfect, perfect. Nicely done. Just push on me a little bit, see how it feels. Don't kill me, but give yourself a good, good test. Battle, push, push, push. Hold on your stick. There you go. Does that feel all right? You do one more and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, cool. Nice. Good job, Gino. That's it. Practice will seem easy, Gino. Practice will seem easy after. I know. <laughs>
uh, maybe veteran experience, uh, the physicality of that player, that led us to a Brendan Morrow. When I found out who the team was, there wasn't any hesitation. The opportunity to come here and play with two of the top players in, in the world, it was a no-brainer. My wife, as soon as I got on the car on the way to the airport, she went back to her bedroom and was kind of sobbing in her room and my oldest Brielle heard something and went in and kind of consoled her and told her that it's just going to be a couple months, Mom, and Dad has a chance to win the Stanley Cup. Brendan Morrow arrived in Pittsburgh with gaudy numbers, but the one he didn't have was his own. The former captain's iconic number 10 was being worn by Tanner Glass. Yeah, that was the first thing that happened. I, I didn't even get into the change stall. I was back in Dana's office worrying about numbers. It's not a huge deal. You're tied to it, you're tied to it. Okay, I'd love to. Okay. Making a swap here. I'd like to get a three-way three -way swap here. It made it easier. You always want to feel comfortable and nice gesture of Tanner and, and Dustin to do that for me. I think the hardest thing was coming in with a winning streak and you just didn't want to be the guy that messed it up. Luckily for Morrow, the numbers game continued. In his first game, Pittsburgh's streak grew by one. Crosby behind the already shoots it, he scores! The Penguins scored big again with a second trade in as many days. <laughs> Douglas, welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Whoa. <laughs> We're also looking to add to our top six on defense, a more physical type of defenseman, and that led us to Doug Murray. Douglas Murray joined a lineup featuring a healthy Evgeny Malkin. The Penguins' win streak hit 14. Things changed dramatically in a two-week period of time for our team and getting the acquisition of players. When you get Brendan Morrow, it kind of felt like that's the big acquisition you're going to get. That's the captain, the ex-captain you're going to add to your team. Near the end, it came down uh, with a Calgary situation that, uh, you know, to add a player like Jerome McGinley. Oh, yeah. Good, you? Finally made it. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. See ya. Yeah, you too. We ended up finalizing the deal uh, maybe about 11.30 that night. Um, you know, I called my kids and just told them that, you know, you just traded for Jerome McGinley. And uh, the first thing they said, no, you didn't. Uh, we just were watching it on TV. He's going to another team. And uh, I said, no, I'm pretty sure we're getting him. After the trade, kind of waiting at home, waiting for the visa, uh, kind of in limbo for a couple days. So when I got here, it was all kind of hazy a little bit there. But um, yeah, guys were great right off the start. Healer, you're playing the right. He's playing the left. All right. You all right with that, James? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I swore I would never play the right wing. <laughs> He's like, do you want to play with me? I'm getting off next to the I don't know how to play with <laughs> Talking to Dan and, and uh, the different systems and the different um, you know plays that they run as a team, uh, you know it took a, it takes a little bit to learn them. Pretty darn sure you're a good player. Pretty darn sure you shoot it really well. Physical. You need all those things that you don't need to know where to go. Jerome McGinley came to Pittsburgh in part to play with Sidney Crosby. That would have to wait. Shot went off a stick, 
and it was deflected up into the face of Sidney Crosby. I just remember not really seeing the puck at all. I think that there's times where I've been hit and you usually see it maybe five feet away or you know you just don't have enough time to move. That one I didn't see at all. You don't want to see that happen to any player on any team playing against anybody. Um, you know he didn't see it uh, coming the puck. He wasn't even to have a chance to react and he got up and he was able to skate off so then you don't really know you know maybe it, how bad it you know it is. I knew I was missing teeth and stuff but I think when you get to the hospital you start to settle down a bit you realize that you know stuff's broke and you know you have to go for surgery that kind of thing. Not everything was broken. Despite losing their captain in the opening minutes the Penguins winning streak remained intact completing the first perfect month in NHL history. I thought you know the team played well that night and it definitely threw you off a little bit as a group when you see that happen like I say to anybody but your own teammate and your captain. The Penguins have won 15 in a row. As the month of March came to an end, so did Pittsburgh's winning streak. It's a little deflating when you lose. You know, we lost to Buffalo there and you want to have that bounce back game the next game, but it was hard to see the streak end. We've had some winning streaks here in the past and there's always a tension as you at a game and as you keep going. You want to say it doesn't matter, it's just now we're just going to start a new streak. You just want to keep winning. And the Sabres in the attacking zone. Ott with a slap shot, he scores. Steve Ott. Those new guys have come in and you're now dealing with two losses. You really got to fight through and battle and every day is a process to get where we want to go. You know, we're trying to solidify first overall in the conference, which I think is important and I think that's a goal to shoot for. I think it'd be a nice reward for how we played this season. I think we'll be able to come together as a team and fight for positioning here as we step towards the end of the season in game one of the playoffs. After two straight losses, the Penguins made one final addition. We also acquired UC Jokic and uh, right at the deadline. That was a culmination of four moves, which is certainly more than you usually do. And this year was the cap space that we did have. So we tried to take advantage of that, try to strengthen our team. I think we are making mistakes that aren't us. Yeah. You've got to keep playing. You've got to keep playing. Yeah. You've got to keep playing. They're going to score first. Yeah. No, they're going to get a power play. Whatever, it's going to happen. So right now, it's got to come from the guys. Like, Yourself. Here we go! That's it, you see? Guys whose execution level and attention to detail and focus dictate the game down here. We looked slower. We looked like we were not all there. Whatever the reasons are, we got to reset. You, know, you guys are going to run the show. Oh, good hit, good hit. So game four tonight, seven o'clock game. UC, a couple clicks for your first match tonight. What, what did you say yesterday? Eject me up, let's go. Right off the hop here, let's go. Lead from the front, Duper. Right, Cooney, right off the hop. You're leading from the front. Right way to play here. It's only taking a little bit. I know Mo's gonna go through four or five guys tonight hard, and he's gonna be at the cage all night long. I know if Jerome's gonna win every puck battle that he's got out there tonight. I know Douglas. Trust and believe he's going to be a bull out there and he's going to be blocking shots, paving the way for us here. You see, you can then have a good start. Bortz? We're going with Eat. Uh -huh. We're going with Arps. Uh -huh. We're going with Cooney. Uh -huh. We're going with Deuce. Uh -huh. In the cage, we got Fowler. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. We got Deuce too. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-six is ready. Hunt! 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 Good job, Brooksy! Go after him. Keep physical on him. Make those guys go back. Engel, great job. Keep playing. Keep going the right way here. Keep getting forward and shoot the puck on this guy. All right, may take 18 minutes. Let's get going north here. You see, you're starting us here. You see us go. 
Comes in, put it in front of a quick shot by Stephon Frog again by Murray. Well, thanks, Dan. Appreciate you joining me here now. This one is hinging on the first goal, it seems. I think we're going to get it. You see Yoke in it. <laughs> the near side, here's we again. So dangerous. Quick shot, go! Juicy Yogan and does it for Dan Bosma. And the Penguins take the 1 0 lead. Great pass, Cooper. Thank you. Nice, Juice. Oh, I love it, Mo. Love it, Mo. Stepon wins the draw to Nash. He scores. That was it. Stepon won the draw to Nash, and he thrills it in. We're tied at 1. 36 right now. 36. Yogan is swinging towards the net. Shoots and scores. So the Penguins in. Down the slot. Brewster stopped by Furry off his stick, and he wins the game for the Pittsburgh Penguins. For whatever reason, that came out that UC was going to get that goal, and he stepped forward, got a huge goal for us, started that third period, and then sure enough, UC uh, comes up big with that shootout he's famous for. It was pretty amazing. It's a good feel by a coach uh, for his team, and especially for a guy that just started that night. So UC made Dan look pretty good on that one. He said it this morning. He was going to do whatever he could to help the Pittsburgh Penguins win, and got the only goal and the goal and shootout. The new acquisitions were paying immediate dividends. There was chemistry on the ice, and a three-game road trip only helped that rapport. The team bonding stuff was critical and it came at a perfect time for us. The best thing is, is just getting to know each other, and, and I know I feel a little bit more comfortable than I did the, when I walked in a few weeks ago, but the guys have been great in helping us out in, in a lot of different ways. When you're on the road, you hang out, you bond, you just get to know a little bit more about each other and get a little bit closer as a group. It's good to get the monkey off your back and have it be a win was a bonus. The win gave Pittsburgh the Atlantic Division crown, the first of Dan Bilesma's career, with contributions from up and down the lineup, a recipe for success in the postseason. The Penguins kept winning. Be able to get everyone together was nice and uh, we obviously you know, played well and that's the main thing. I thought our guys played really hard. The new guys played extremely well and integrated in with our team and I think we're coming home from that trip not only with the three wins but having spent time together as a group and coming together as a 25-man uh, group as well. Jerome McGinley's name was errantly spelled out on Bruins jerseys just a few weeks ago, and his first trip to Boston since the trade that didn't happen was a trip no one would soon forget. It's been a, a tough week for the city of Boston and, and to be here and to go through it with the team and to follow it. Um, you know, We've gone through the process with uh, the Bruins and the NHL and the residents of Boston here. The, the safety is, is paramount to everybody. So we totally understand the situation and respectful of that. Hopefully we'll be have a chance to play tomorrow uh, if that's the case. But uh, again, the safety of uh, the people of Boston, the city of Boston is most important for everybody. Boston, once again, was safe. Tragedy has a way of defining perspective. And while hockey will always be just a game, it could also act as a remedy. A day after the game was scheduled to be played, the Penguins and Bruins dropped the puck in Boston. Same made the rebound, and the Penguins score on the rebound. You see Jokinen, Jokinen back to again like slap shot, score! Pittsburgh clinched the number one seed in the Eastern Conference with a win in Boston. You know, we've worked hard all season, and um, does that get you anything? Absolutely not. You know, our focus is on, on playing the right way and doing the things we need to do, and 
that's where it was when we won 15 in a row and our goal wasn't to win 15 in a row, so everything else will kind of take care of itself. The Penguins have found ways to win, but they have yet to find a healthy lineup. We've had some injuries here and some opportunities to have different lineups with the new guys has been maybe a blessing more than having everyone healthy because we've been able to put people in different spots, play different roles. Everybody's getting that ice time, getting those responsibilities right now and that's why being able to make a few of those moves helps solidify the team and add some depth. I think that's important right now. It's a very deep team. It will be exciting to get everyone back and you know a guy like I said uh, a couple practices and he, he'll be flying around like he, he hadn't missed any time. He'll just be fresh. Whenever it is I get back, hopefully be feeling pretty fresh after uh, missing some time. There wasn't much time left in the regular season. The Penguins playoff position was set, but there were still some milestones left to achieve. Bokey, that was your uh, 300th win. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jerome, the game winner, Jerome. Oh, yeah. 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 We got one more. Coach is uh, 200 wins. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Loose and confident, skilled and determined, the Penguins are about to embark on a journey where records are thrown out, speeches are legendary, and success is measured in multiples of four. It's the playoffs, and the Penguins are ready. Playoffs are a different animal. In every game you get the goosebumps. This team knows how, how to win games, and you know, lots of good leaders. For sure, can be the team who's going to win the cup. We're a confident group, but we all love competing together and playing together. And the competitiveness to go along with the skill are great ingredients. I like the way we've handled ourselves through adversity throughout this whole season. I think that's something that we can look to as a big positive. You know, we really have a certain amount of trust with having gone what we've gone through and there's a lot of things that have to go right and different guys that need to step up. You need that in the playoffs when things get tough. Winning as you go along in the playoffs takes special moments. It takes overtime wins. It takes rebounding from losses. That's going to come from the new guys. It's going to come from the old guys. It's going to come from a spot you might not think about. You focus on yourself, executing your game plan to perform at your best and then to see where the chips fall. Definitely as it goes on, you appreciate how hard it is. There's so many things that go in to having a good long playoff run and ultimately winning. Do I think that this team can do it? Uh, absolutely. I'll appreciate it more now, I'll tell you. I definitely like our chances, but it'll be up to us to go after it and, and see what we can do. Ray put together a pretty complete team here. The time's now for this team to win. The names on paper don't guarantee anything, and uh, it puts a bigger target on your back for sure, but that's a sense of motivation as well. Our main focus is to win four games. That's our goal. It's hard to get four wins, let alone 16 wins, to win a Stanley Cup, and that's where really our focus is, those first four wins, and, and something special is gonna happen, something special is gonna happen with this group. Really? Because I can't catch with that hand. Well, that was obvious. What's going on? How's it going? Winning's a lot better than losing. Travel's pretty nice too out here. The travel. 